Okay, so this is just going to be a general overview of how to change fog light lenses. Um, this happens to be to change a kit that we sell. These are the fog light lenses that we sell. Um, these happen to be for a um, 2009 to 2016 Honda Civic or 2017 Honda Civic. Uh, the 2018s are different. Uh, this also covers CRZs. This also covers Accords. Uh, this covers most TSXs. Um, any fog light installation is going to be roughly the same. Uh, these happen to have a bit of a curve to them. Um, as you can see, the lenses are flat, um, but they do bend. You just simply apply a little bit of tape in this direction, um, let them set and pull the tape off, and it holds in place just fine. <clears throat> if you get the kit that has uh, films, these are yellow films, for example. Um, these are the blue films that some people like. Uh, they're quite strong, very, very blue. Um, not legal in most uh, provinces and states. Uh, some guys like the smoked look, so we uh, have smoked films available as well. These films go on the inside, um, between the actual reflector and the lens. Uh, so this goes on the inside, not on the outside. The film does not fade. Um, it does not get damaged. It does not peel. It does not um, catch fire. Uh, these are what they call movie gels. Uh, this goes in front of stage lights. Uh, these come in big sheets. You can get them in big rolls. We get them in sheets because it's easier for us to uh, laser cut. We used to cut everything by hand, but it's a lot easier to just laser cut it. Um, the edge, you may note, is rough uh, because it is laser cut. We used to cut them all by hand using a router bit. Uh, and a die, the die would stick to it, um, and it would used to leave a clean edge. The clean edge isn't as beneficial as the rough edge. The rough edge is actually better. Um, the sealant adheres to the rough edge much better than the smooth edge, and I would always recommend people sand it um, around the, the edge, but you don't have to. It just helps adhere better. Um, only reason why this customer happens to want these changes is because these lenses are beaten. These have been on the car since 2009. It's 2018, so luckily he hasn't bl blown them out, but his daily commute's only about 10 kilometers. Um, mine happens to be a lot more than that, and mine I change to lenses right away. Uh, the product that we sell is um, just absolutely crystal clear. Um, hang on one second. This is actually the lens off of a brand new unit, and you can kind of see that ours is a little clearer than stock. Um, these are damn near bulletproof. This is uh, polycarbonate. This is quite thick polycarbonate. It's, I think, 2.4 or 2.5 millimeters thick. Um, it's really, really, really nice stuff. Um, but uh, it's really difficult to cut, um, which is why we invested in a laser cutter. Uh, we tried many different ways, um, but that's for another time. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, actually I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we're going to install these ones because these are the ones we currently use. Uh, these ones are a little bit smaller than ones we used to sell. Um, reason why that is, is so it can catch the lip, but you can apply more sealant to them. Um, we used to sell them slightly, slightly bigger, as you can see. Um, they used to cover better, and you used to be able to adhere more sealant here, but I found that doesn't actually work as well as overlapping the sealant over the edge and slightly over this edge. All of this gets covered by the bumper about to about there, so you can't see anything on this lip. Um, so you may as well just goop the shit out of it and everything will be fine. Um, for the project, I do recommend you use a ultra black or an ultra gray silicone. Um, this is an RTV sealant. I really shouldn't call it silicone because it isn't silicone. This um, adheres better, it sticks better, and it sets hard. Uh, that's the most important part. It does. It's not flexible. You can't kind of dig your fingernail into it. You can pick off little pieces and it kind of falls off in chunks. You can also use um, um, polyurethane, uh, polyurethane adhesive. If you have it, um, the stuff meant for windshields is the best. Um, I haven't used the, the PL premium adhesive, but that basically is polyurethane. Um, you are going to need some sort of safety glasses. Uh, you are dealing with glass. Uh, it's broken. Not yet, but uh, why not? I've got a little uh, BB gun, uh, so I'm just going to smash it out with a BB gun in my um, sandblaster. Uh, this is the CO2 style powered BB gun, so I'm going to knock this out with the BB 
and then just for fun I'm going to shoot this a bunch of times as well. This is a 550 feet per second I think BB gun so it's just sub-legal. Um, I think it only takes about four shots or so before it uh, completely expends the, uh, the CO2 cartridge. So um, this is basically, um, this is a depot um, replica. Uh, customer didn't like the depot one, so I replaced it with uh, our poly polycarbonate ones. It just keeps you from having any problems. Um, reason also why we're doing this is because it's really hard to get on camera. Uh, right there, yeah, you can see that a little bit of water came in through the back. The seal wasn't holding very well, and it's just a little dirty on the inside, murky. Um, customer wants a nice clean. Uh, finish so we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. We're not gonna worry about the rusting again This is all behind the bumper. It doesn't seep through and under the bumper So I'm not gonna clean that up. That's just a waste of time uh, Otherwise I would um, If you do want other colors, we can provide any color, but uh, you're gonna have to buy You know spend an extra 20 bucks because uh, we have to buy a full sheet and chances are we're not going to use you know orange or purple for anybody else So basically just be for you uh, and then we can offer you a few extra films for free <clears throat> Um, you are going to need some sort of gloves, any sort of mechanic gloves, any sort of work gloves. You can use the big thick leather ones, you can use ones like this. This is just like a synthetic leather kind of material, but I find that this is just fine for what we're doing. Um, you're going to need some sort of screwdriver to dig out the little broken glass pieces. I recommend just a sort of angled pick. Uh, the angled pick works very, very well to dig out the glass pieces. You don't have to be super exact to get all of the sealant out because the this sealant will adhere to it. Um, trust me, we've been doing this for many, many years. It adheres just fine. Um, you're going to need some black tape, electrical tape. You're going to need or duct tape uh, works perfectly as well. Um, to adhere uh, around, let it set. Um, a heat gun works really, really, really well. This is just a power fister piece of crap, Princess Auto uh, heat gun. Um, just hit the, the edge around with a bunch of heat and it helps the sealant that uh, they use from factory to come off easier. Um, I'll probably end up doing it just to make it easy, uh, but I'll show you how to do it without. You basically just push a screwdriver through the inside and that pulls all of the glass out and then just kind of peel it off. Um, let me smash out some glass, I'll be right back. Okay, so first, just for fun, we're gonna use a airsoft shotgun. Um, it just has regular uh, shot loaded into it. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, and we're back. Uh, shotgun is loaded. Let's go ahead and cock it, and uh, give a couple point blank shots. As you can see, it does absolutely nothing. So let's go to the handgun. Safety off. Um, and uh, by the way, I am wearing safety glasses because I'm not an idiot. Well, I am an idiot, but not that much of an idiot. And, ah, oh, so sorry. All right, so I've put a hole into the, uh, the fog light here. Um, I thought it was gonna take three or four shots, but it only took one. Um, just use the standard old BBs, um, 1.77 millimeter um, inches, I think. And as you can see, it just falls right in. Um, I shot it a bunch of times with just some uh, plastic pellets. They just bounce right off. So the plastic pellets don't do anything, but the BBs went right through. So um, I guess that'll be a good uh, point to start. Um, now would be a good time to wear your safety glasses and uh, put on some sort of hand protection. All you have to do to get started to get this out is just put your screwdriver in through the back 
and then simply find a shard here and then lever it up and pull it out. It'll pull the sealant out with it and then just go like that in a circle. That way you can keep from cutting yourself. Sometimes they will break into smaller pieces. Um, sometimes you want to break them in smaller pieces like that for example. So grab something metallic and just give a little whack and then you have something a little bit more manageable. And then you just go ahead and pull out all of the broken glass. Nice and easy. Um, just giving this an inspection. There's no glass protruding beyond this lip. Um, that little piece on the inside isn't going to damage anything. That's fine. And uh, yeah, so we're good to continue. Um, right now I'm going to go prepare the other one. Uh, clean this out with some uh, glass cleaner and hot water. And come back. Okay, so here they are uh, clean. Uh, washed. Um, I took a video of smashing out the lenses as you may have seen. Um, this one here has some staining. Um, this here is actually the coating failed. Um, unfortunately, I hope you can get that. Yeah, so you can see it right there. Um, this here is water inc incursion, um, incursion rather. Um, so what I'm going to do is just touch it up with a little bit of uh, silver paint. Uh, he asked me if I could do that, so I'm just going to spray some into a, a little plastic cup. I'm going to spray some in a little plastic cup, use a little brush and touch it up uh, in case you miss any of that. Um, also, the customer is going to be using LED lights in here, so we're not too worried about light output since LED lights suck and they're horrible and they shouldn't be used and they should be illegal. So we're going to take the shrouds out. I recommend taking the shrouds out anyway, um, since it tends to focus the heat directly onto the lens, and you might be able to get, you might get a little bit of bubbling directly in the center. Um, light output is over on the side, so it doesn't really affect the lens whatsoever. It's just unsightly. Uh, this way it can spread around. Um, people are going to argue that that's you know, not good or illegal or whatever. Um, but the difference is very, very, very slight, and pretty much every aftermarket version of these lights don't have these little shrouds in them at all. So you really shouldn't be too worried about it. Because uh, the customer is going to be using LED lights instead of regular halogen bulbs, they're much fatter, thicker, and they might actually hit. So instead of having to pull the, head, the fog lights out apart again, um, may as well just take them now and mitigate the problem. come back in a second okay so here's the fog light uh, painted um, as you can see it's minutely better uh, it's not an ugly black spot anymore um, if your reflector and the inside is damaged uh, peeling or black there's nothing you can do for it throw it out and get a new set of uh, fog lights um, you can spray with Nufi Chrome or the fake silver chrome paint, whatever. It won't work. Uh, it just won't get a good reflective finish off of it. And even if you do, you're just going to scatter light everywhere. <clears throat> um, as you can see, most of the black is gone from the inside. Just trying to catch it on the light here and see if you can see it. Um, I apologize for the short focal length of this lens. Um, it's the one I got. Uh, when you get your sealant, uh, it should look something like that. Um, the one I like is a Permatex product, but you can use anybody's 
RTV style gasket maker. Um, so to open it up, hook it through, and what I like to do is just dab it on and go on in a circle like this, just filling the trough here. Um, the layer you put here doesn't have to be very thick, doesn't have to be very big, and you're just trying to get it to peak that ridge. I'll show you why in a minute. There we go. So it's coated all the way around the outside. Um, try and not get any on the inside. If you do, just simply wipe it with your finger. Um, <coughs> use a paper towel, wipe it off, and then you're good. Yeah, so this is nice and clean on the inside. Um, if you opted to get the um, films, uh, now is when you want to go ahead and apply it. So just more or less center it. Um, get it on there and this is why you don't want to put too much on the edge go ahead and get it nice and in there as you can see it's nicely applied um, the customer wanted to not have a yellow one he just wants clear Pull on the edge there um, and when then once you have that um, set up you don't have to put any more on there you just take your lens um, peel off the protective layer off of one side. Could be a little tricky. Stuck on there pretty good. Okay, so peel it off of one side and get ready to apply it. But make sure you have some tape ready. Um, right now I'm also gonna remove this because the customer did not want the yellow films. So I'm gonna take that off again. So that's, in this case, garbage, but you'd want to leave that on, put it on there, and then put silicone around the outside. Okay, so I got my uh, uh, lens ready. I got my roll of black tape over here. Just want to go ahead and get one side centered. Once you have that... Go ahead and wrap your tape around some sort of bracket and uh, get ready to apply some tension. The first round doesn't have to be very tight, but uh, subsequent ones do because you don't want it to move around on you too much. Tighten that down a little bit more. Now you can apply much more force. Done. Now, you can obviously do this with gloves on, but you want to go around and cover this edge all the way around. Again, you're never going to see this on the car, so it does not matter how messy you are on the edge. And that's what will hold the, uh, the lens in properly.
that's it. to give a little smooth. And you're done. Wait 24 hours. Take off the tape. Take off the, uh, the lens. You want to add a little edge around. Go nuts, but you don't have to. Okay, so this is the setup. Um, this is gonna be the, the lens. Um, this is the same exact plastic lens that we have on all of our fog lights. Um, this just happens to be an 06 fog light that I used to have on my car. I don't wanna shoot up the customers. Um, this is the uh, rig that I'll be filming from. This is the exact same uh, polycarbon that we use. This just happened to be Outside has a uh, time lapse with our old uh, 300 uh, D. So I've got my uh, Canon 7D in here. Um, should I just put my phone in here too, um, just for filming. Um, I'm actually gonna be standing behind that, um, just for fairness. I wasted the old uh, CO2 cartridge and I loaded a brand new CO2 cartridge in there, um, just so you can see. I do indeed. Sorry. Okay, um, I do indeed have copper shot BBs in here. Um, let's take it out of safety. Hit record and have a look. So I'm gonna stand behind here actually with the, uh, aim it. Woo! You see that uh, CO2, CO2 come out? Direct. Direct shots. Ah, fuck, that hit my balls. Out of ammo. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Look at it. So I've destroyed the... Um, the housing there, just very, very slight compact marks. Very, very, very slight. You can see it right now under the light there. Basically no damage. That completely destroyed the glass. And this lasts about seven years on a car. On a car that's daily driven. 